Hey guys, it's Luron here and welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's video, I want to talk about Futu Holding Limited. Now, this is a capital markets a company out of Hong Kong. And uh, this stock is in a nice technical uh, chart pattern. Um, in my opinion, it's about to break out and we can have a short squeeze on this one, guys. Now, this stock is heavily traded. We have a decent volume, 5 million volume traded um, on the day on average. And as you can see here, we got a 20% short interest, guys. When stocks have 20% or more short interest and they're in key technical chart pattern setup and they've completed the technical uh, setup, you can experience a short squeeze. It can go either way. Um, and the other thing that I like about this stock, guys, it's look here, 42%. The float is very low. So you have a low float, short, uh, the float is 20% shorted and we have high volume on the daily average volume that's the recipe for a big move on the upside uh, again this is uh, i did a video on smile direct club i showed you guys there where you know these short sellers are overstaying their welcome you know they made a ton of money shorting these stocks rightfully so uh, because of the big run-up due to covid and then after that they don't want to get out they got stuck they think this stock will probably go to zero that's not going to happen so let's look at the um let's measure and see how much this stock is is, is, has fallen so this stock is down 83 percent guys in the past uh year 83 percent as you can see here we got a nice steady down trend i know we have a nice head and shoulder forming um here now i see the stock coming down and touching my primary support level back at the 40 dollar level so i'm not taking a position just yet because if i take a position right now my risk is you know 10 percent would be my risk 10 and a half percent usually i like to limit my percent much lower than that so when the stock comes back down and touches this primary support level at 40 guess what my risk is you know three to four percent if the stock should break this key support level it's all about risk reward guys you get in close to the primary support line so if the stock breaks your, your key support line you get out but if you get in at the top it's a longer way down but then the upside is massive guys now let's look at the upside guys the first target is 51 dollars easily you know we get in at 40 our first target would be 50. If we trade in options we're looking at one week two weeks options to get to 50 dollars the next level would be at 60. so we'd want to hold like a nice uh, two weeks contracts to take you to two to three weeks contract to take you to that 60 dollar level and then we got a big gap to fill right here guys at 80 dollars now i don't know if it'll get all the way to the gap fill but because of the short interest that i show you guys the 20 percent short interest 40 million shares float this one can easily push up to 80 80 bucks 83 dollars and fill that gap above because like you guys know stocks love to fill their gaps and uh, if you get a breakout with good volume this stock can this stock can easily fill the gap there so those are my target guys you know the first one in one to two weeks 50 dollars the second one is 60 dollars in two to three weeks and in three weeks we're looking to fill um, the gap at 83 dollars those are all option plays those are target levels and then my risk level as i mentioned before anything close opening or closing below the 40 dollar line i'm out i'm out because that's that, that means that the stock is going down or continue to go down further now if you're looking at stocks which i will get some stocks as well once the stock comes down here and touches primary support level i'll buy some stocks if you're not trading options but you're trading equity you're trading shares then you want to get in right there and you can you can you can take profits in stages guys at 50 dollar level you're looking at 24 percent gain at the 60 dollar level you're looking at 50 percent gain and if you hold all the way to the gap fill you're looking at a hundred percent return on your money that's if you're trading shares guys on this one now you take your money in in stages if you put a thousand dollars in and the stock gets there you take one third of your money out it gets to 60 two thirds you know not a third you take out and once it gets to that gap fill level you take the balance of your money out again your risk is right there at that line so that's the overview of this one guys i show you guys the technical setup i show you guys where the entry exits ought to be i showed you guys uh why i'm taking this trade from a technical setup we have 20 percent short float we have 43 million shares float low float and let me show you guys the one out of fundamental here uh market beat is calling for a high price price target of 246 so that's the intran intrinsic intrinsic value of this uh company average 143 where is this stock right now at 42 dollars 
so this stock is you know has the ability to to move guys uh, it's a profitable company the income is 364 million uh, on revenue or sales of 859 so that's a uh, you know 40 plus percent um, you know revenue the stock is making based on um, the amount of uh, sales look at that guys nice stair stepping out there on the um, on the revenue this is nice growth that's what I like to see when I'm buying some of these stocks I want to see nice growth on their revenue stair stepping growth and I also want to see positive not every time I'll look for positive EPS because it can be a company that is just growing and they're not profitable as yet but this one is profitable guys so there's no reason this stock should be done at 40 bucks so it's profitable great sales that's the recipe and then we have short float um, this is recipe for short squeeze guys so that's it guys I, I won't ramble anymore but I'm excited about this play like I said I'm not in on this one as yet I'm waiting for it to pull back a little and get close to this line once it touches this line it just I just need one touch on the line and the next day I'm buying it why because look at this touch guys the first head and shoulder you have one touch two touch three touch so this one will only touch here once and it'll go away now these are all tidbits i'm giving you guys about my trading strategy i mean i've tracked all of these things i'm showing that stocks when they do the head and shoulder they spend a distinct amount of time at the primary support line which is this line you see one touch two touch three touch when this comes down here it only has to touch one time that's enough confirmation because that's what it did previously sometimes you'll see multiple touches and so on then you can expect multiple touches accordingly but only one touch you'll expect here and the second day open I'm in right there and I'll write this one up or I get out of my wrist but this is a big short squeeze that's coming guys so I'll wrap this one up guys again foot two holding uh, limited and this stock is uh, it's a great company it's profitable and um, it's Hong Kong and I can see this one moving higher uh, like I said the only disclaimer here guys is that with the overall market being bearish that could be the only thing I can see bringing this one down uh, further but usually once you see this higher highs and higher lows in the bottom here this stock has taken the turn guys uh, also the volume has increased as well we got a lot of buy volume coming in here look at this one here 34 31 million that's when they're pumping the brakes on the sell side you know the buy that the buyers are taking over we had a nice double bottom here and then we were looking to move higher we're sloping higher which we, which means we're making higher lows and uh higher highs so yeah i'm excited for this one guys i i, I believe this one will come down and touch the primary support level sometime in the week of february 22nd and that's when i'll be taking my entry so i wanted to give you guys an early preview of uh this trade uh don't go buying those trades that are up at all-time highs or, or barely break break down 20 percent or 30 percent this one is down 83 percent guys and it's a profitable company it's a solid company so that's the company you want to be trading in either options or you can be trading shares i give you guys a scenario for both so hope you guys enjoyed this video guys i hope you guys found value in this video and if you did drop me a thumbs up remember to subscribe it helps to grow the channel that's all i'm asking you guys in return for providing you guys with these high premium quality content so until next time see you guys in the next one